So we are back with a brand new Team of the Week player review and the, probably the highest rated card of this year, this week's Team of the Week, is Harry Kane. 91 rated. It is the same rating as his Road to the Final, but this one is a lot cheaper. The Road to the Final is at 750k. I've just brought this Harry Kane for 127k. So similar stats, but we'll see if it's worth getting a cheaper version or is it road to the knockout that much better but either way he's 91 rated he's six foot two three star skill moves four star weak foot and he's right footed and like i've just said 127k it cost me to buy him he is a striker obviously english bundesliga Bayern munich i have put a hunter on him for obvious reasons his pace needs to go up so he's got 70 pace which is quite slow but he's got 69 acceleration and 71 sprint speed shooting wise is incredible Basically, if you get in the right position, he will finish. 96 finishing, 95 shot power, 95 attacking positioning, 90 long shots, 90 volleys, and 94 penalties. Those finishing stats are incredible. Vision as well, 87 vision, 81 crossing, 87 short passing, and 89 long passing. We all know he likes to come a little bit deeper and kind of play passes, and he's really good at passing. So that's probably why his passing stats are so high. Dribbling, look, agility and pace is not Harry Kane's strong point. So if that's how you play, maybe avoid this card. But... 67 agility and 74 balance is awful. He's got fantastic reactions, composure and ball control. He's also very good in the, in the air of being 6 foot 2. To have 73 heading accuracy and 89 jumping is amazing. He's also got 88 strength, 77 stamina and 82 aggression. Play styles, he's got that finesse shot plus which is so overpowered. The amount of Suns, uh, Griezmanns that just destroy me on, on weekend league and... Um, Rivals is unreal, but he's also got power header, long ball pass, incisive pass, flair, uh, first touch, sorry, and Travella. So, fantastic scoring play styles there, but also some very good passing play styles. Then Rolls, if you play him, have a false nine or advance forward. He's in my main team, obviously he's got two chem, because I don't want to change his team too much. But overall, I think he looks fantastic. So we'll see if you should invest in this card, or just go for his, well, if you've got the money, go to his road to the final. Uh, road to the knockout, shall I say. But let's see how good he is, and the review will follow. So, Team of the Week, Harry Kane is a very good striker. Two games, three goals, and he felt very good. When he's in and around the box, if he gets his shots off, they are dangerous. He scored an incredible first goal for me. That power play to the box, the keeper had no chance. He's got finesse shot uh, plus, which means any finesse shots from in and around the box, either trouble the keeper or go in. He's also got power header. He didn't win many headers for me because I actually had Van der Ven, uh, that goal scoring kind of corner area. So he didn't really get many chances, but he did win a lot of headers from like goal kicks and stuff and like brought players into play. He's fantastic at passes. So if he gets the ball and you come a little bit deep and you see your wingers attacking, loft those balls over the top, always goes there. They're perfect. So the only thing about him, obviously, if you play with striker who you want to be fast and run like behind the fences 
and kind of that kind of style of play, do not get this card. If you like big, tall, strong strikers who can win headers, if they get in the right positions, they will score. He is the guy for you. So it can be quite split. A lot of people look at this card and think, oh, 70 pace, he's awful. But if you know how to use him and you play with big strikers who get in the right positions and finish, he is your man. Especially with that finesse style plus. If you get in the right position at the end of the box, finesse it, it will go in. So that being said, for 127k, definitely if you're doing a Bundesliga team, use this card. Especially if you've got its gold card. If you've got his obviously road to the final, that's obviously better. It's got 80 pace. But don't think this card's awful because of his pace. He's actually a fantastic finisher. So that being said, leave a like and subscribe.